Hi folks, welcome to another episode of These Old Gun. My name is Rick and I'm a gun nut. There's probably a 12 step program for that, but I haven't found one yet. Not an expert, just a gun aficionado, firearms aficionado. Today we're taking it back, way back, to the um, Japanese matchlock. Have in my hand is a Japanese matchlock, modern production, probably 70s or 80s. This actually was built in Moroku, Japan. And has nothing more than a pipe with a police to put some powder and touch off a charge and throw a ball out the end of it so we're not very sophisticated however these do have a rudimentary sighting method so it i don't know 50 75 yards they'll probably be as good as any other smooth bore uh, you've got your nitrated cord which is cotton cord treated with some sort of nitrate also called the slow match and that just there's a touch hole here where you put your priming powder your wick goes here, fire it, this comes down, and touches off the priming charge, which touches off the main charge. Not very sophisticated, but when you consider, what is it, rumor tells us the uh, Japanese invented, or Chinese invented gunpowder in what, the 1300s or something like that. And uh, somebody finally said, hey, let's put some in a pipe and launch a rock. And early ones, the hand cannons uh, were pretty unsophisticated. This is an improvement pre-snaffling, pre-wheel lock, pre-flint lock, but in its day, this would have been state-of-the-art. Not so good on a rainy day, probably not that good on a windy day. And not only that, but there's no shoulder stock for this thing. So you basically would take them and set them on a wall or something and hang on to it and pull the trigger and uh, hope for the best. But when somebody else had a crossbow or a bow, this was pretty sophisticated. I'm sure it was pretty terrifying for those who never saw one. And uh, honestly, in my experience, it's just fun when they go off. You know, to get the thing to go boom. So we're gonna load this up. We're gonna do a little shooting here at our range of 25 yards at the gong. Uh, there is a clay pigeon hanging down there. That's a very optimistic shot to the clay pigeon at 25 yards, but I'm willing to embarrass myself in front of viewers to take a shot at that. So we'll cut here and we'll go to the loading procedure, which is like any other uh, muzzle loading gun. Like a flint lock, you'll put some priming powder in the, in the pan, which is covered here. We'll put the wick on, we'll get the wick glowing, and uh, we'll see what uh, we make this thing go bang. All right, here we go. Okay, here we are, ready to load this puppy. I don't know how they did it in the 14th or 13th century, but so we're going to do it. A little 45 Colt case. Throw some triple F Go X in there. Remember, never load from a horn or a flat. So the safe distance pour that down. Patch 440 round ball. Anyway. Crack the hammer, pour a little primer in the pan, priming powder, close the cover back up, take our authentic 14th century Zippo to light the slow match, which is always fun when you're right around black powder here, but what are you going to do? the good stuff here let's see if we have this thing ready now we're loaded I'm gonna optimistically go for the gong at 25 yards cock is back open up the cover to the priming pan and you're ready to fire here we go and we got it You can see ignition was pretty much instantaneous. I think faster than a flint, and almost like a percussion gun. It went good. I'm gonna load it up again. It's already dirty.
it works. Going for the clay. All right, so there you have it. We got to shoot this 13th or 14th century, whatever, Japanese matchlock. Pretty cool. Um, I managed to crank the gong and crank a clay at 25 yards with it because it does have very rudimentary sights, and they worked. It actually went off. A couple of times it didn't go off, and that's the uh, the drawbacks of these. But this was state of the art, definitely fun to shoot, a real blast to shoot, and really a uh, interesting development of firearms leading to what we have today. So we'll close with that, and next time maybe we'll pull up something in the flint category. We'll reach in the vault, see if we can dig in the back of it, pull it out, and we'll do a demonstration of that. Thanks for watching. If you like my channel, subscribe. We'll have some fun together. Appreciate it. Till the next time. See you later. Keep shooting. Stay safe.